I'm Ana Andrade, an artist, thinker, and mother based between the Tijuana U.S. border. My work explores the convergence of life dimensions in space, which I denominate as all those that create a sensorial present. I'm particularly interested in the constructing daily life exchanges that I experience as a physical being. For this reason, I use my process to break sociocultural boundaries and limits of spaces and time, while focusing on human, non-human history and science as biology and geology. I've been doing this Anakin and chicken wire sculpture. The fiber is connected to the Yucatan region where I was working on a, on a wider project, but, but I found out during research and through my grandfather's archive that um, he was born at a Anakin field in another state of Mexico. And after checking Tamaulipas, which is um, where, he, where he was born, it was related to the Chicxulub crater, to the, to the meteorite that collapsed on Earth 67 million years ago. And I've been connecting that through a story that I've been writing in, in English and in Spanish. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's made through letters. I'm writing to my grandfather and he's answering to me from his post-human type of being. I started remembering me since you reached me and I'm able to feel happiness again because I remember that I am Jose but I had the opportunity to be him. I remember when I saw you, you were so peaceful in your coffin. You looked like a miracle. I imagine you as priests, invisible but present, from inside and outside the Earth's atmosphere. My temporality stopped being specific, but I do remember living masses of tissues, being able to breathe and feel, therefore inhabiting time as dynamic matter. The first time that I saw a microscope was when I was like a kid, five years old, four. It's one of my first memories that I saw him at his lab, which was like around like four, three blocks away from, from here. And, and yeah, that memory came to my mind when I like decided to, to use a microscope. And that was once, once when I was working at the Tijuana River, I, I worked there documenting and coexisting with people who were deported from the U.S. and who became um, homeless or inhabitants of the river. And I was like a little bit exhausted of energies because I was there for many years. And I was like, I'm sick of being here. I need to use a microscope. And I started doing it after, after like one year. But, I, but uh, that's the way sometimes processes are. First you have the idea and sometimes that we even forget that we have the idea, but then it comes back when there's the medium and it's like, oh yeah, I, I wanted to do this, you know? As a single mother, I can like work when my daughter is sleeping and I have a space to do it. And that's like the fellowship of my grandfather, you know, in a way, <laughs> like the residency, because I can cook and then I can come and do the export or I, I'm with my daughter all day. And then at night I come and I work 
like night, my night shift is from 9 to 2 a.m. or something like that. I like to see when I go out on the window, like in between classes or something like that, I go out and I see like too much movement. I, I, I see like over there, that's like this avenue and, and the people like crossing the streets in, in perspective. Ha, 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 ha. 